which is the best Arabic tafsir of the Quran available that has been translated into English? As far as Arabic tafsir is concerned, there are many tafsirs in Arabic. The two most well known amongst all the Arabic tafsirs is of Tabri and the other is Ibn Qasir. There are many other tafsirs, for example, Qurtubi, then Zamakshari Kashaf, and various others. But the two most famous are Tabri and Ibn Qasir. Only Ibn Qasir has been translated into English by many other publishers, including Darul Salam from Riyadh. The name of the commentator of the Quran, Tabri, the full name is Imam Muhammad Ibn Jarir at Tabri. And he was born in 224 AH after Hijri and died in 310 AH after Hijri at the age of 86. And according to Ibn Khuzayma, he says that he has read the book from the start to the end. And he does not know of any person more knowledgeable than Ibn Jarir in the full world as far as knowledge of the Quran is concerned. There are many comments by many various scholars on the commentary of At Tabri. Another famous person, Sheikh al Islam, Ibn Taymiyyah, he says regarding this commentary, he says that amongst the commentaries available now, at his time he's talking, amongst the commentaries available at his time, the best commentary is of Ibn Jarir, that's At Tabri. Because he gives the views of the Salafs, of the predecessors, the Salaf is solid. And he also quotes from authentic Sanad. The Sanad is authentic. He does not quote sources which are dubious, which are doubtful. Neither does he quote Beda, that is innovation. That is the reason Sheikh Al Islam Ibn Taymiyyah preferred his commentary the best. And in another book, he has given his comments. Again, Sheikh Al Islam Ibn Taymiyyah, he says that Tabri, he quotes from the Sahabas, from the Tabains, and the Tabi Tabains, that the followers of the Tabain. And he even gives the exact Sanat, mentioning each name. So those who are scholars, it's good for them, they can go back and check each Ravi, each narrator, and check his authenticity, which may not be useful for a layman, common man, like you and me. You know, he says, Sheikh Al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah, that a common man is only interested in knowing whether the hadith is sahi or zaif or maudu. He may not be interested in the sanad. So therefore, this commentary is very good for the scholars and the seekers of knowledge. The other Arabic tafsir, which is very good and very famous, it is Ibn Qasir. And the name of the commentator of this tafsir, the full name is Abul Fida Ismail Ibn Qasir al Damakshi. His commentary, according to Siyuti, he says there has not been a commentary written similar to Ibn Qasir's commentary. And if you read Ibn Qasir's commentary, he gives references and he quotes other verses of the Quran. He gives the commentary of the Quran from the Quran itself. He quotes the other hadith, say hadith, and many a time he even gives the Sanad, especially if it's a Musnad Ahmad because he was a person who had memorized the full of Musnad Ahmad. So it becomes helpful for a person to check whether it's right or wrong. So Ibn Qasir itself, mashallah, commentary is very good. So these two commentaries, at Tabri and Ibn Qasir, are the best. In short, as far as these two best commentaries are concerned, At-Tabri is more famous and better, but it's especially for the scholars and the seekers of knowledge. It may not be good for a layman or ordinary person, but as far as Ibn Qasir is concerned, it's good for the scholar as well as the seeker of knowledge as well as for ordinary Muslim. These two commentaries in Arabic are the two best ones according to my knowledge. Alhamdulillah, and Allah wala. But only Ibn Qasir has been translated into English by many other publishers, including Darul Salam from Riyadh. Jazakallah khair, Dr. Zakir. Just one little point on that. Which is earlier? The Tabri. Tabri. Yes, Tabri is earlier. Ibn Qasir, he died in 
774 h after hijri he came about four and a half centuries after tabri okay thank you very much for that clarification